Alright, there's really nothing here. Let's go here. There's gonna be a, another event. But, let's do this video. This is the ship. So, this is Lockdown Ship. A really long, long stage. So, let's start it off here for this video. And then, um, we'll see what happens. I think it's pretty much the same thing. But, actually, we never ran in the ship before. So, definitely gotta take a look at that. So, this is what the ship looks like. We have our gun. Let's see how much damage it takes off. Alright, we need two bullets. That, whoa, alright. So there is Stinger. Stinger pops out of everywhere. So he's just a regular character now. He, he's not like, you know, one of those special characters. You know, at first I thought that we can actually use Stinger. Unfortunately, we can't. I guess that's about right, right? Everyone is an Autobot. And somehow... I thought Stinger was gonna be usable. If anything, they, they should make Lockdown usable as well then. It should be a DLC. I'll certainly buy a Lockdown DLC running, you know, character. If you if you make a Bumblebee, I mean, uh, if you make, make a Stinger, I'll buy it too. But it looks like they're not doing that, so... So he he's just showing up as bosses or enemies in the game, which is certainly, you know, it's a shame because they already programmed the stuff. They just need to add some, you know, some some different programming to actually get the character in there. All right, so we're dying. I don't know if I should just run past everyone because we have everything we need. I was thinking on that. Alright, there it is. We ended it. Good stuff. 14 kills. Yada yada. Let's move on to the next one. Energon packs. We needed to collect 10 Energon packs. Alright, so we got enough Energon packs. I don't know if we should just run for it because there's still half a way to go. Maybe we should because there's no point in fighting these guys after you already kind of gone to level. Or I mean gone the requirement level in the level. Alright, just trying to slice that guy there. He's just been popping up on us. I was like, hey, why don't you just go <laughs> die? Alright, so, gonna move on with the ship again. And this one we need 10 melee kills. Which is, you know, which isn't a lot. So the, the requirements on the ship isn't really that high. Oh, right! I said I was gonna show everyone the bonus thing that we've gone. So... I totally forgot about that. We'll do that in the next video. Because in this video, we're going to do the... We're going to finish the stage first. And then we'll we'll do the stuff. Because our weapon is actually the strongest weapon that we've gotten. And it's fully upgraded. Well, it's not fully upgraded, but it's upgraded. And that costs a lot of money. Alright, let's chop that guy. Let's chop this guy. Alright, we missed that guy. Ah, oh, that's bad. I don't like missing people. Ah, oh, we missed him too. Ah, oh, are you serious? 
All right, we got him. Okay. <laughs> we missed him too. All right. We missed him two times. All right, forget. It. We're not going to do that jumping thing. Aha, there we go. Alright, let's slice him. There we go. Now we got the star. Let's just boost on ahead and then we'll swap out our weaponry. And we'll check out the bonus stuff we've gotten from the event. Alright, drive Optimus. Drive. All right, 10 minutes, 10 seconds to go. And we just ended it there. You go back, go into character, do the swapping so everyone can check out the new stuff we've gone from the event. Not that, all right, this is epic. Here it is, here's the Optimus Prime's battle rifle. And you get 10% extra experience and 135 extra HP. It does 190 damage, which is comparing with this thing. Yeah, it's not a lot. But let's put that on because it might shoot faster. Let's put on the sword. Is this the sword? No, this is drift. Alright, so this is Optimus Prime's sword. Here it is. It looks really cool with that blue aura. I actually like the blue aura <laughs> more. I don't know. Uh, I guess uh, blue is always better, in my opinion. But of course, some other people might like some other color. And here is Optimus Prime's nano optics. And definitely worse than these. I don't want to put it on because you're not going to be able to see it anyway. What's the, what's the point of putting on something you can't see, right? So here is what Optimus Prime looks like. Look at his sword. And that is one shiny sword. Alright, we're going to move on and do this stage. And see how the battle rifle is. Oh, wow. Look at the shots. It's a single shot, though. But it's relatively weak. Yeah, it's really weak. We didn't upgrade it. That's why it's so weak. But it does shine blue. The sword. I guess the sword is a sword, right? It slices. Alright, we definitely cannot do this stage like this. This is pretty difficult. We could try to do the physical attack. Alright, I'm going to run slower. Ah, these guys are smart. They know if I'm coming... Um, they're gonna run. That's really smart. So we're gonna do this slice. The sword looks good so far. So far, it's surely taking out the enemies when I leap. All right, that one is good. I prefer going back with my other stuff, but the sword I will probably keep. And what happens is, wow, this guy. Oh, this guy is smart. Alright, so what is, what is going to happen is I'm going to change the gun. The gun is not strong. I guess even it, I guess we have to upgrade it. But oh well. Sword is doing good. All right, we got enough experience or score rather. That is pretty much it for this video. I will probably continue on doing the stages and try to get three star. And then we'll move on to the next video in 
I mean, the next stage is in the next video for the ship, lockdown ship. So I'm definitely changing that back. The sword, we can keep the sword. Sword damage is pretty much the same. Yeah, the sword is pretty much the same. We can do actually upgrade this sword. It will be better, and we'll keep that. And that is about it for this video. Transformer, Age of Extinction, the mobile game.